Bookcase. Bookcase or book? Book. Sofa. Plus, Tara was always going to have to be in charge. Ties was no fool, and she'd never be blinked by other things maybe, but not love. I knew Tara clearly undeniably the run off her marriage to JB, and she didn't <laughs> seem to mind for her. Do you want me to grab some food? I'm not sure. Elevator. So, I'm pretty big into apps that are accessible for people who are visually impaired or blind and... Pedestrian Crossing. Previously, I used apps that take a picture of what's in front of you and then it sends it to the cloud. And then within the cloud, it essentially has someone volunteer to describe what that image is. And then voiceover on the iPhone will read what is currently in that image. This app's a little bit different. Detour sidewalk host. Yeah, we, we have to turn back. They, this is a dead end. Uh, so as you see, I'm not very good at directions. Billboard. Grand Central May. Good enough. Well, uh, Grand Central Market, that's where we're going to eat today. French fries, cheeseburger. Yeah, it's definitely a cheeseburger. This is an app called AI Poly, and it uses artificial intelligence to identify objects and what things are, the scenery, uh, for people who are blind or visually impaired. The bottom line is that this app is pretty innovative, and frankly, it gets things right a good amount of the time. I'm not saying that this app is perfect by any means. It does get confused a lot, and that's because it is pretty early in its development, but it's gonna get better the more that people use the app. If you use apps like TapTapC or Be My Eyes, I recommend AI Poly as like an alternative or a plan B in case you don't have an internet connection. That way, you could still probably identify what's in front of you. Might not, but it's an, it's, it's, it's worth a shot. What do you guys think about artificial intelligence? Do you think this is something that's very beneficial for people who are blind and visually impaired or just for accessibility purposes in general? Or are you kind of freaked out and scared by where we're going with artificial intelligence with all these home-based technologies? I think that artificial intelligence can be a mainstream thing that could really change the lives of many people. But I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out other videos that are related to technology and, and just disabilities and accessibility in general. If you're not subscribed already, Join the family and I will see you guys next time. Bye.